Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily set up CDI with LaunchBox and BigBox. Now, in the past, it's been a bit of a pain to get CDI up and running. Not impossible, but some people did have a lot of issues with it. We were using MAME or MESS, but there's recently been a new core for RetroArch released called Same CDI, and it works absolutely amazingly, and it's probably the easiest way to get CDI games up and running on your PC with LaunchBox and BigBox. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set everything up, I'm going to show you exactly what you need, and it really can't get any easier than this. So if you're ready to get CDI games up and running, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, obviously you're going to need some CDI games. I have some in a folder on my desktop and I've just named it Philips CDI. I'm using CHD, but you can also use ISO if that's all you can get a hold of. And I'm just going to import a few to make it quick for this video. But I've definitely chose some of the best ones here. We've got Zombie Dinos, Zelda's Adventure, and Super Mario's Wacky Worlds. So these are CHD, but like I mentioned, you can use ISO if you need to. The next thing we're going to need is the correct BIOS. The name of the BIOS is CDI Mono1.zip, and you're going to leave this zipped up. But there are several of these floating around, and you definitely want the correct MD5 checksum. So I'm actually going to leave that in the description. It's also right here. Like I mentioned, there are a few online, but nothing else works except for this one here with the correct MD5. And as long as you have this, you can get it up and running really easily. Okay, so I'm just moving back over to LaunchBox. First thing we want to do is just update RetroArch. Uh, with all of the new releases of LaunchBox, we have an easy way to get RetroArch set up and updated. This will automatically download everything you need. We're going to go to Tools, Manage, RetroArch, and I'm just going to update because I've already got mine installed. And I usually do this about every two weeks just to be safe. It's going to download all the cores for us, get everything in the correct location, and RetroArch will be ready to use with LaunchBox. Alright, so now that we're fully updated with RetroArch, we need to place that BIOS in the correct location. So I'm going to actually head over to my LaunchBox installation directory. Mine's on an external drive. I'm going to go to Emulators, RetroArch. From here, we want to find the System folder. And you need to create a folder in here called Same underscore CDI. Inside of this folder, we're going to create another one called BIOS. And this is exactly where we're going to place that CDI Mono1.zip. This is the only BIOS that's required. This will get you up and running. And remember, if you run into issues launching a game, you probably have the incorrect BIOS. MD5 checksum is in the description. Now that we have all that set up, let's head back over to LaunchBox. And now we just need to import our games. So from Tools, we're going to go to Import. We'll choose ROM files, go through the wizard here, and like we saw, I've got all of my games in a folder on my desktop. So we'll go to Add Folder, Philips CDI, choose Next, and since the folder was named correctly, it's automatically going to choose that platform. But if you're importing from a random folder, you can use the drop down. We need to choose RetroArch, and we're going to choose the correct core, which is the same CDI core. Use the drop down. Same CDI, Libretro. Choose Next. I want to copy these into my LaunchBox Games folder. That way I keep everything portable. I definitely want to download artwork. And if you're working with an EMU Movies account, you can also choose from here. We'll choose Next. We don't need to specify any custom options for this emulator. And here we have it. We've got the name of the game, the location, and the extension. So we'll choose Finish, and this shouldn't take too long because I'm not importing that many games right now. My games are now imported. It's going to download all of the artwork in the background. Now I've got a new section, Philips CDI, and we'll just go with Hotel Mario. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Remember, we're using RetroArch with the same CDI core. And I'm going to be playing these games with a controller. I've got an Xbox controller connected over USB. And it does work out quite well. The games that do support mouse input, you can use the D-pad or the analog stick to control the cursor. Go ahead and skip the intro. And now all that's left to do is play your favorite CDI games. I'd say that at the time of making this video, it is the easiest way to get this up and running with LaunchBox and BigBox. 
And there you have it. So you now have CDI games up and running with LaunchBox and Big Box using RetroArch. It really can't get much easier than that. But the main thing to note is the MD5 checksum on that BIOS. There's several out there and they just won't work with this course, so you definitely need that BIOS. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope you got your CDI games up and running with this tutorial. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.